Governor Babajid Sangwoil of Lagos State, yesterday, held a virtual meeting with religious leaders over plans aimed at reopening the various sectors amid a battle against COVID-19 in the state. Sanwoilu, while giving a ray of hope for reopening of worship houses, however, reeled out fresh guidelines and conditions to be met before the state government would reopen mosques, churches and other religious centers for normal activities. Notable religious leaders, who participated during the virtual meeting, are Pastor WFQ Muee, Deeper Life, Pastor Joseph Obeami, RCCG, Dr. D.K. Alukoya, MFM, Rev. Mrs. Mercy Ezekiel, CPM, Mrs. Elizabeth Onadabi of Wawakan, His Eminence Samuel Kanyuach and other leaders in the five Christian bloc and can executives. Also present at the meeting are Dr. Abdul Rahman Ahmad, Chief Missioner, Ansaruddin, Sheikh Abdul Hakim Lawal, Imam Abdul Hakim Lawal, Mrs. Igbarangbi of Fam, Sheikh Uais, Chief Imams of the various divisions of the state, MSSN and other top religious leaders in Lagos. Addressing the religious leaders during the electronic meeting, Sanwoilu said, We are reviewing and considering how the phased unlocking will happen. If we see a huge level of compliance, then it can happen in the next two to three weeks. If not, it could take a month or two months. It is until we are sure all of these players are ready to conform to our guidelines. He urged businesses, religious houses and residents to maintain the status quo while the state works out modalities for full re-opening. Chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, in Lagos State, Apostle Alexander Bambola, commended the governor for being proactive, dogged and pragmatic in his approach, promising that the Christian leaders in the state will continue to support the efforts of the state government in sensitizing and enlightening their followers on the COVID-19 pandemic. Also speaking on behalf of the Muslim leaders, the Grand Chief Imam of Lagos, Sheikh Suleiman Abunola, Describe the present period as a time of collective survival when the government and religious leaders must work together to ensure the survival of all. Directs PHCs to treat asymptomatic COVID-19 patients. Meanwhile, government